Hey, we are gonna talk today about one of the best things you can do in the summer when it comes to wading in rivers or lakes. All right, probably one of the biggest questions we get in the summer is what are the advantage of wet wading? How do I go about it? And what are some of the things that you can wear for wet wading? So first and foremost, do not wear Chacos or Tevas. Those are gonna eat your feet up. So what we usually talk about is we're dealing with pants that are lightweight and durable that will cover and protect your legs. Waders are really, really hot. In the summer, it's even worse. And so with pants, that's kind of the, the best of both worlds. You get the lightweight, uh, they're not waterproof, of course, but they're lightweight and they're cool, but you still need to protect your, your legs from things like sticks, rattlesnakes, Bigfoot, and different things like that that can hurt and damage your legs. So the typical setup that we use in the summer and even before and after into the summer are gonna be a wet wading setup that consists of wet wading pants or pants that are designed for that purpose, as well as a pair of boots. Normally I like lighter boots, but wading boots. So like a Sims Flyweight or the Flyweight Access. Uh, a wet wading shoe is good as long as it doesn't have holes and entry points for uh, sticks and, and rocks. That's the reason, again, I don't like Chacos. Um, and then usually you wanna have a neoprene sock as part of that. So from the standpoint of the boots and the neoprene socks, we'll cover that in another video. But what we're gonna talk about today are the pants. And this is probably one of the most or least understood of what we're gonna talk about it with wet wading system. And so the purpose today is to talk about different kinds of wet wading pants that are on the market today and some of the considerations to look at. All right. So I've got my pants right here and I have worn and tried these on. We've done, um, you know, more like field tests. In a minute, we're going to take these out and get them all wet and see which ones dry the quickest. One of the reasons why you want a pant that dries is because you're going to be in and out of the water. You may be in and out of a vehicle. So you don't want a pant like jeans, the worst. They do not dry fast and they're super heavy and soaky. So these pants that we're going to talk about today, fit that bill, lightweight, quick dry, and they work great for wet wading. So first on the list is uh, one that I like as a regular day in day out pant, and that is the Orbis Jackson quick dry pant. So uh, one of the things when you talk about wet wading pants is you want them to be not very constricting. So for me, the Jackson quick dry pants probably fit me the best. Um, out of all the pants that I've worn, and I do like most of these. In fact, I'm not including any of the pants here that I didn't like. There are a couple pair that I'm not including because they just didn't fit me right. If you're some tall, skinny dude, that may be uh, something that works for you. But for me, no, I'm probably more what they would have called in grade school, husky. So I need a pant that's got a little bit more movement. Anyway, so we got the Orvis Jackson quick dry pants. These uh, and many of these, if you want to click in the links below, uh, you can purchase on our website. Okay, so the Orvis Jackson Quick Dry Pants are a nylon spandex. So with it being spandex, they're gonna have a little bit of stretch. That to me is a big deal. I like that spandex mix because the pants can bend with you. If you bend down and need to squat or go through some water, um, those will be good for that. All right, next on the docket are the Orvis Ultra Pants. So these are also a wet wading pant, very lightweight. Um, they probably dry a little quicker than the, the Jackson ones, I'm guessing, but these are 100% nylon. Okay, next we've got the Sims Super Light Pant. Uh, one of my favorite ones to wear, they're really light. They're actually fairly durable. Um, they're also 100% nylon. Um, a lot of the, the wet wading pants you'll see are gonna have stretchy waists. So they will fit you on a variety of sizes. If you do find a pant that doesn't fit you through the thigh or the leg, uh, you could go up a size and still have some ability to stretch the pants or if you need to go up a waist, you can do that with these. Okay, one pant that in the lineup that's been a stalwart is the Sims Guide Pant. Now these are more of kind of an all around. They're not made just for wet wading. Um, they are uh, a nylon pant, 
but they're, I like them as an everyday wear pant. For me, these fit a little ski wampus. They're not horrible by any means. Um, I did find the other ones fit a little better, but um, they are a good pant. They look great. So if you want to look good out on the water, that's a good consideration there. Okay, next in the lineup is the Sims Bug Stopper Fishing Pant. So I included this. These are not necessarily a wet wading pant, but if you are out in the woods and you need to do wet wading, these are treated with insect shield, insect shield. And so that's a, a bug repellent and they're good for like 30 washes. Um, I'm gonna assume that if you're doing wet wading with these, it may take a toll on the, the insect shield stuff, but they're also very comfortable. I do like to wear these. These are probably kind of more of my hiking in the woods, uh, lots of mosquitoes around sort of deal but they're very good pants. All right, next on a docket is a pair of pants from Patagonia. These are the Sandy K pant. And again, these are designed to be a quick dry. They've got, uh, again, like a lot of these were some, they've got some elastic in the waist to give you a little bit of leeway there. They're really lightweight. I like these pants. My only sort of complaint is the legs are a little boofy. So if you were in, say, fishing off of a boat, or uh, out on the flats in the ocean and there's a lot of wind, you're gonna create the flag effect. Uh, not a huge deal, but they do, they uh, typically tend to dry really quick and they're very lightweight. All right, and last but not least, we have some pants from Howler Brothers, typically not known for super techie fish gear, but these are actually very good fishing pants. Um, the Shoalwater Tech Pant is the name of the pant. And similar to some of the others, uh, these are actually a, a nylon spandex mix. Um, these ones are probably the most loaded with features. So if you want an everyday pant, you can just knock around uh, wherever you're gonna be going to work. If you wanna be on the water, maybe not even wet wading. Um, they've got a lot of features. They've got a drawstring. One of the cool things, they have these drawstrings in the legs so you can actually cinch them down. There's little uh, adjustable type thingy with elastic which is kind of nice because uh, when you're wet wading, you tip, you're typically gonna have your boots and your pants just go right over your boots. Um, that way you can cinch these down against your boots. Um, they're very comfortable. I've actually worn these uh, for two or three years. Uh, get one of my kind of everyday wear pants, but they also work good for uh, wet wading. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these pants out, outside into my laboratory out in the sun and we're going to do some testing on to see which of these pants dry the quickest how they dry uh, how they handle water and it's not a super scientific thing but we'll see how it goes outside okay here we are in our super techie laboratory which is the bed of my tundra so what i've done and this is i mean you could probably get a better scientific way of approaching this, but I've done equal amounts of water. I've soaked the pants in for a few seconds, and then I'm just allowing the sun to dry them. And so what we're doing, gonna do here is we're going to kind of get a gauge every 10 minutes on how dry the pants are. And again, it's gonna be a little different if they were on your, on your body. Um, so this isn't 100%, this is just relative to the pants here and how they're gonna dry in the sun. I'm already seeing some really big differences in which dries first. So you're gonna have to stay tuned to the end of the video to see which ones of these went out in terms of actual quickness to dry. But also one thing you probably didn't consider is water repellent capabilities because there's a couple of these pants in here. I literally could not get to soak up any water. Now, that's probably not gonna be the case across the life of the pant, but that's a good starting point. So anyway, once these dry, we'll go and talk about how long they took to dry. And then that's also a combination, like I said, of how they wear, how comfortable they are, and all those different things when it comes to wet wading pants. So stay tuned. These are the Patagonia Sandy K pants. Sims Guide Pants also didn't absorb any water. Lots of beading, no absorption. Then the Sims Ultralight Pants, little, not as good as the Guide Pants, but still pretty good. Then the Orvis, so those were the Sims. These are the Orvis Ultralights, or Superlights, one of the two, whatever the Orvis ones. 
and then the Orvis Jackson quick dries. Okay, so we've seen which pants outside had some good things about them and some bad things about them. So let's cut to the chase, the moment you've all been waiting for. Actually, time out. We don't soup, like the, the drying factor is not the most important factor. Let me just say that but, uh, right off the bat. It is a big factor, but I think for me, a lot of times I would probably opt for a pant that wears a little bit more comfortably than something that might dry 10 minutes quicker. But you may be different. We, regardless, are gonna tell you which ones dried the quickest. All right, number one on the list, the quickest drying pant, and these all had about the same amount of soak time, would be the Sims Guide Pant. The thing with the Sims Guide Pant, number one, is that the water by and large would just beat up and roll off. In fact, if I was being fair about it, I couldn't hardly even get these wet. Uh, obviously, if you're gonna be in the water for an extended amount of time, they will soak up some water, but they were by far the best. These were dry in our same test that we did with all the pants within five minutes. So if you're looking for, for something that dries quickly, the guide pants are the way to go. Again, for me, they aren't my favorite pant because of the way they fit, a little tight, maybe, um, in the thighs, I guess, but they're, they're an awesome pant regardless. Um, if you want that quick dry, that's a good one to go. Uh, number two, drying in only eight minutes, very similar to the, the guide pants, was the Patagonia Sandy K pants. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, the, the pant width, and they're kind of baggier in there, which may be good if you like your boots uh, to have a little bit more room to move, but for me, I don't like that as much. Also, when they get wet, they kind of wrap around your leg a little bit. Um, but I still like these. They're very lightweight, so if you're in hotter climates and you want something that's gonna dry fast and be light, uh, the Sandy K's would be good to go. Okay, the third quickest was the Orvis Ultralight. Took a little bit longer. These ones were 15 minutes to get uh, completely dry in the leg. And again, we only tested the legs, but for this is a good mixture of quick drying, but they also fit well and they look nice. Okay, after that we had the Sims Super Light. These were again one that were a little bit more difficult to get wet. The water would beat up on them, bead, roll off. And they were dry in about 18 minutes. So these actually took a little longer to dry than I thought, but still kind of an acceptable time. Um, in fact, all of these here, you know, five to 15 minutes or so um, are gonna be acceptable in my book. Uh, Next on the drying, the drying list were the Orvis Quick Dry Jackson Pants, or Jackson Quick Dry. Um, again, these are probably my favorite, and I'm still, I would still opt for these ones. They took a little longer to dry, about 21 minutes from getting wet to drying completely. Uh, for me, that's fine. I, I really, really love the way these fit. So these are probably still at the top of the pile for me. The Bug Stopper, surprisingly, dried a little bit quicker than the Howell Brothers. So these guys dried in 24 minutes, so it took a few more minutes than the Jacksons, but they are also good, again, if you are gonna be around mosquitoes and other biting insects, if you want something that dries still relatively quickly, certainly quicker than jeans. And last, we have the Howler Shoalwater Tech Pant. Now, honestly, I was a little disappointed these took so long to dry, but I think for the amount of features that you get with these pants, and if you don't need it to dry super quick, it's not gonna be that big a deal. They are really comfortable. These are probably, at least based kinda of on my uh, looking and feeling of the pants, probably gonna be the most durable for you, and they have the most features. So anyway, if I had to summarize, at least, and this is picking for me based on what I like, everybody's gonna be different, um, I probably would still go with the Orvis Jackson quick dry pants. Again, the way they fit and the way they feel. And they're also relatively quick drying. But then I also like the Sims Ultralight because it fits really nicely and it dries really quick. And I might even have a couple different pairs. Maybe, maybe the Orvis ones when it's a little warmer or a little cooler and the Sims when it's, when it's a little hotter because these are gonna be a little lightweight. But all in all, if you want, uh, the links for any of these products we have on our website are available in the link below. Hit the subscribe button, stay tuned for more of our videos, and if you have any questions, post them in the comments below.